कैन प्रतिभा सिंह डिलीवर हिमाचल प्रदेश टू कांग्रेस सी हैड बिन मेड द स्टेट कांग्रेस प्रेसिडेंट फॉर हिमाचल एंड हिमाचल प्रदेश इज गोइंग फॉर द स्टेट असेंबली इलेक्शन इन दिस गैलेंट सो द पॉजिटिव पॉइंट्स व्हाट फॉर इन फेवर ऑफ प्रतिभा सिंह शुड बी she won a very crucial mandi lok sabha by election in the year 2021 and it creates lots of psychological uh, advantage for the congress congress was not very enthusiastic congress workers were not very enthusiastic on the ground but this uh, performance will make will create hope for them and uh, election is definitely psychological game as well second part uh, what i felt that uh, she will get the sympathy vote because of the demise of uh, raja virbhadra singh um, he is um, so that benefit definitely uh, she will get at the same time we need to understand that himachal pradesh to win himachal pradesh you need to win mandi and kangra district these two because mandi district you have 10 seats and in kangra district you have 15 seats so in the mandi district uh, the present cm the jairam thakur he comes from the mandi district and mandi district in that uh, in the by election when like um, the 2021 by election happened so there was one lok sabha by election and there was three assembly by election so total 20 seats that went for poll and among this 20 seats congress was able to win 12 interesting in the mandi district so there was nine assembly constituencies which went for poll Congress was able to get lead only in one, and BJP got the lead in eight. So Mandi district BJP performed really well in the uh, 2021 by-election as well. CM is from the district, so making Pratibha Singh um, as uh, um, the press president and probably giving a signal that she can be uh, the uh, CM, future CM, means candidate for uh, Congress. so it helps congress to improve its position in the mandi district so the mandi district a uh, congress has to win around 3 to 5 seats out of this tenses if they want to uh, form the next government now fourth very important point that is the female voter we have seen in the recently concluded neighboring uttar pradesh and uttarakhand uh, election bjp performed very well among the female voters so as per axis uh, um, my axis in um, exit poll the data if you if you if you look for so in uttarakhand bjp polled 42% among men and uh, 41 and congress polled 41% among the men so the difference between of uh, bit was only 1% means bjp was had only by 1% among the main voters but in the female voters bjp was able to get 46% of the female votes and while congress got only 30% female votes in uttarakhand 2022 assembly election so the gap was in this case the gap was 8% so for the men it was 1% and the female it was 8% now let's come to uttar pradesh in uttar pradesh also we can see that uh, bjp polled 44% among the men whereas sp plus the main opposition was the sp so sp plus polled 40% among the main voters so that means among the in the main voters the difference was only 4% but it, when it comes to the female voters so bjp uh, was able to get 48% of the female voters and whatever sp was able to get only 32% of the female voters so the gap was 16% so the female voters actually helped bjp to form the government in uttar pradesh and uttarakhand so the same trend may continue in himachal and when pratibha singh uh, we we'll get uh, people of himachal may get indication that she can be pratibha singh can be the cm so that can influence a uh, good section of the female voters and that will be very very crucial and deciding factor will be there now uh, said that so what she should do now so so i think that is very important so one thing uh, what uh, congress has to understand the congress central leadership is definitely weaker than with compared to the bjp central leadership there is no doubt so himachal congress has to convert themselves into a regional party we need to notice that bjp is not performing well whenever they are facing a regional party in the state elections so take west bengal take jharkhand take any south india kerala tamil nadu even in delhi 
ಬಿಜೆಪಿಯು ತಾನೇ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಡು ಪರ್ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ವೆಲ್ ಸೊ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ಕಾಲ್ ದಿಸ್ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ರನ್ ಬೈ ದ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಹಿಮಾಚಲ್ ರಾದರ್ ದನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ರನ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಫ್ರಮ್ ದಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಮೆಸೇಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ರಿಜನಲ್ ಸೆಂಟಿಮೆಂಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಬಲ್ ಟು ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಸಮ್ ಬೆನಿಫಿಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಒನ್ ನಂಬರ್ ಟು ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ದಟ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಿ ಇಸ್ ಫಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ನೋ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾಟ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ಯು ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಝಾರ್ಖಂಡ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಪೋಲ್ಡ್ ಆಲ್ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಟು ಫಿಫ್ಟಿ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವೋಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಲೋಕಸಭಾ ವೆನ್ ಆಸಮ್ ಇಲೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಬಿಸಿನೆಸ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ಇಸ್ ಗೆಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ಲಿ ತರ್ಟಿ ಟು ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ವೋಟ್ ಸೊ ದೆರ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯೂಜ್ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಟೇಕ್ ಹರಿಯಾಣ ಟೇಕ್ ದಿಲ್ಲಿ ಸೊ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ವೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ಸೊ ಇಫ್ ಎವ್ರಿಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ವೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಐಡಿಯಾಲಜಿಕಲ್ ಲೈನ್ ದೆನ್ ದ ಸ್ಪ್ಲಿಟ್ ವೋಟಿಂಗ್ ಬಿ ಜೆ ಪಿ ವೋಟ್ಸ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆ ಡ್ರಾಪ್ ಡ್ರಾಸ್ಟಿಕಲಿ ಇನ್ ಸರ್ಟನ್ ಸ್ಟೇಟ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ವಾಟ್ ಕಾಂಗ್ರೆಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ ದಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ದೇ ವಿಲ್ ಡೆಲಿವರ್ ಇಫ್ ದ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ದ ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ and that cannot be a laundry list that can be like three four main points what it can be thus i have not traveled himachal but what i can understand from that that himachal has to get more tourism and after covid the tourism sector is hit and the type of tourism uh, also it changed probably the work from home culture has Im- increased a lot so probably himachal uh, government has to look into so that how can the capture uh this this new set of tourist probably that can be one deliverable the unemployed youths is increasing there is a number of unemployed it is increasing everywhere so what will be the special focus for the unemployed youth so mainly in three four parts probably apple farmers what will be the government focus the cherry farmers what will be the government focus so all i think three four that segment the congress has to focus only on that focus on four five deliverables not a big laundry list okay you don't need 100% vote to win a state you need 50% vote or 48 or 48% vote to win the state so understand which segment you are targeting uh, which segment uh, you will target and position yourself accordingly so make th- four for five promise prominent promise and uh, you go on uh, advertising okay every candidate should talk about this and that can change the election and uh, uh, third uh, one point uh, what i felt that congress is not focusing on the booths they are not looking because now after evm came you can get the booth wise uh, voting data it is available in my our website www.chanaka.com you can find it and uh, so booth, they need to identify that which are the booths which are the villages they are not voting for congress in 2012 and 2017 and as bjp is in government so they will face some anti incumbency so that villages you need to put special focus you need to go to those those villages physically you need to go identify the influential people and also tell the same message that what you are going to deliver how their life will be better if a congress forms a government so that will be very crucial uh, then uh, very important that uh, Cong- uh, it should look congress should look like a coherent unit there is definitely some um, uh, internal politics is there so take um, all the leaders together and don't make any personal attack on the opposition either state leaders or the central leaders that's very crucial because when you started doing your message sometimes the message is lost and uh, focus on only on the delivery that folk tell the people that how their life will be improved if congress forms forms the government so that will be very crucial fit the bi-election results congress should study it properly in the bi-election results whatever we have studied that is very clear that sc and st vote which is around i think 25% in himachal that is has moved a lot in favor of congress so but all known even in uttarakhand also the sc and st they have voted uh, majorly I means um, with it compared to bjp they have voted more for congress but alon sc and st vote can't make you the if you the government So you need to focus on um, two districts like Mandi and Kangra and in Kangra definitely uh, the OBC population is very significant as well as the Gadi population. The Gadi population overall uh, in the state um, they can influence around uh, 10 seats. So Rajput and Ramin voters more or less it is fixed but which is the votes they swing and they change the government you need to identify. So as per my understanding whatever I have not visited Himachal for this purpose yet I'm I'm definitely going to visit very soon 
but whatever the data wise i am checking that i felt that this two community one is obese and is gadi community this two community they change their voting pattern and that's why probably himachal won five for five years they get bjp government and five years they get the congress government so that is the trend is happening so these two community because gadi community they can influence around 10 seats and obc community they can influence around 15 to 18 seats so these two these two communities vote if congress can focus and get majority of them uh, i think congress has a very good chance uh, to form the government so if you uh, find it interesting this video please like it and please subscribe the channel i am going to make regular videos on recent political developments thank you